Savers are losers. No, I'm not talking about people. I'm talking about money. Money that is put into saving is losing people their wealth, their money, their freedom every day. And it's so important to understand that investing and saving are two very different things. Saving has a very real and important role in your overall wealth plan, but it's never going to get you to freedom. Nobody saves their way to freedom. Nobody saves their way to wealth. And so first and foremost, we need to understand that saving is when you keep some of the money you earn with the intention of spending it later. Yes, you keep some money to spend it. Why? So you don't go into debt, so that you can plan for the things like the holiday, the wedding, that car replacement, that deposit for your home. That is the purpose of saving. It's medium-term spend that you keep money in your life with the intention of exchanging it for something that you go to. You know, then you're no longer going to have that money. You go to have a thing. Investing, on the other hand, is where you take some of the money you've earned and you buy an asset. That asset has value and that asset grows in value and generates income. So now that asset is actually staying in your life, growing in value and contributing to your wealth to the point where an asset can then earn you income, which can buy you the things that you want. The point is to get to a point where those assets can replace your income so you can have the choice of whether you want to work or not. Saving can never do that. But the problem with saving is even more. Many people think that their saving is investing and they get this confused. Now, most people, when they think about saving, they keep some money and they put it in a bank account and they get a terrible little measly return, a little interest rate for this. Because essentially, you're lending the bank money. The bank then goes and lends that money out to other people in terms of credit and gets all sorts of money and gives you the little scraps. For most people, what they're earning on their saving is less than the rate of inflation. So that's the first way they lose. So the money is reducing in value each and every day. The very buying power of that money that's saved is getting less and less. And this is so devastating is why savers are literally losing each and every day on their money. But worse, they lose in another way. If that very money was also put into an investment that could grow in value and generate income, at a rate significantly higher than inflation, they would actually be earning and growing faster. So savers are also losing the opportunity of what that money could be made of them. Think of it this way. A saver is somebody who gets a bag of seeds and goes, great, I'm going to put that in the pantry and I'm going to eat the seeds. And so they keep feeding off those seeds. An investor gets that same bag of seeds, plants the seeds, and now gets to feed off the crop and gets seeds from that crop, which they can plant. And then they get more seeds and they can plant. And this is the difference between saving and investing. With saving, it's whittling away. Once you've consumed it, it's gone. With investing, it's growing and it gets to stay in your life and serve you forever. And this is so important to understand the difference between the two. So with investing, your assets pay your bills. So I want to tell you a little bit about Andrea. Andrea opened up her pension from having worked hard for a lifetime, this pension statement. And together with the savings that she had and this work pension she was going to get, she realized that she was never going to be able to stop working and be able to live the lifestyle that she was living now, let alone the lifestyle she wanted. And she went, hang on, there has to be another way. Maybe there's something I haven't been taught. And despite being close to retirement, she started learning how to invest, instead planting those seeds and getting them growing for her. And she wrote to me and shared that from that day, in just three years, she was able to stop working, retire early in, and earning more from her assets every month, every year, than she was when she was working actively and that you'd ever be able to do if she hadn't learned the difference between saving versus investing. And that's the power. The power of knowing this is truly you getting to live the life that you want. So how do you start investing? Well, I've got a free training for you on that deep down how to get safe and successful, solid investments and assets working hard for you. So look in the description below and dive on there. But with that, there's just four principles you need to know 
how much you need. What is the purpose of your investing? Your investing is to buy assets that can pay for your lifestyle. So you have the choice whether you're going to work or not. And gives you the peace of mind that you've got this part of your life sorted. You're never going to have to depend on somebody else in your old age. That you're going to be able to have the reserves for life's inevitable things that are going to come along. So you know what it is and how much you need. You then know what products to invest in. And yes, I show you exactly what to do using these powerful things called index trackers of how to get great, safe, diversified assets working for you with simple investments that are safe and secure. Then you need a platform, an online brokerage platform. You don't need a financial advisor. You don't need any expensive person taking a big commission from this. You can do it all through, thanks to the internet, through digital investment platforms, which you can set up a consistent regular investing, which comes up to the fourth P, which is you must follow a proven process. Not leaping around with a tip from the hairdresser or Uncle Albert down the road did this or chasing after the latest fad. No, you let it be boring. You let it be beautiful because something as important as your financial well-being should be something you can sleep well at night, is peaceful and certain. And that is what is the key to solid investing because after all, this is your life and assets should be working hard for you, not the other way around.